Breaking news. PDP takes Peter Obi to court. PDP, the People Democratic Party, has taken Peter Obi to court, asking that Peter Obi should be disqualified. The disqualification suit is on, and this is what is going on. Peter Obi has countered the PDP and has now made demand. Okay, he has now made demand from the courts because um, in, your, in the New Electoral Act and in the Constitution of the INEC, you can, when you have a running mate, you can't change such an individual. Now, there are conditions in which such an individual can be changed only in those conditions. And basically, there are two of them. In any of these conditions, then you can change in, in any of these two conditions. On that ground, you can go ahead and change the president, the vice presidential candidate. Initially, Peter Obi took his campaign manager, uh, Okupe, as his running mate. Yes, and um, after looking for the person he felt has what he takes, he went on and said, yes, uh, you know, this guy can now become the, you know, he, he, the guy himself resigned willingly and he picked Baba Hamed, who is now the running mate. But how does that happen? Like I said, there are two reasons on which you, the, you, you can change the vice presidential candidate. One is in the case of death and it's not that one. He did not die. The second is in the case that the person willingly withdrew. And this one, he has willingly withdraw. Let's get all the details. Disqualification suits. Peter Obi counter PDP makes demand in court. Dr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has responded to the suit filed before a federal high court in Abuja. The Dr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, has responded to a suit filed before a federal high court in Abuja by the People Democratic Party PDP, seeking its disqualification from contesting in the 2023 elections. Obi, in his response, wants the court to dismiss the People Democratic Party suit seeking its disqualification for nominating his campaign manager, Doi Okupe, as his placeholder. It was reported last week that the People Democratic Party has approached the court asking it to stop Peter Obi from re replacing Okupe as his running mate. The main opposition party further requested the court to prevent Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the standard bearer of the All Progressive Congress APC, from replacing Karib Messeri as his running mate as well. The People Democratic Party prayed the court to disqualify both men from contesting the 2023 presidential election if they replace Okupe or Messeri as their running mate. Both Peter Obi and Tinubu have since replaced Okupe and Messeri with Yusuf Baba Hamed and Kashim Shatima, respectively, as their substitute running mate. Peter Obi, who responded to the original motion via a notice of preliminary objection, dated July the 18th through his lawyer Alex Essien. San wants the court to strike out or dismiss People Democratic Party suits for wants of jurisdiction. The objection by OB to the People Democratic Party player is based on four grounds. The plenary suit is speculative, conjecturary in nature, and devoid of hard fact, thereby thereby diverting the court of justice to add to make their own will come to pass. This is not what happens in the court proceeding. Peter B. Council added that the People Democratic Party must re, must do something worthwhile for OB since they have wasted his time on this lawsuit that has really no jurisdiction. So this is what is happening right now. Peter Obi has, you know, has asked the courts not only to dismiss the case, but that he must be compensated. Yeah, he must be compensated. Okay? He must be compensated. And, you know, Obi has, you know, has told the people, you know, that, okay, I must be compensated. They can't just come here 
and tell me whatever they or do whatever they want to do and just get away with it i must be compensated they have wasted my time there are there are grounds on which to replace your vice presidential candidate and those grants has been met and one of such grants is that the person whoever it is that is the vice presidential candidate must willingly step down okay and the person the person i put as my vice presidential candidate has made that requirement has willingly stepped down so what more do you want he willingly stepped down what more do you want he has willingly stepped down so this is it the person willingly stepped down so it's it's not something that uh, you tell me that uh, you know it's not uh, we can't we can't work it out and so for wasting my time because they did not do their due diligence to ensure that they get the right, you know, they didn't do their due diligence to ensure that the right things were done. So if they are saying that they are taking me to court and now my time has been wasted, they must compensate me adequately. I must be adequately compensated. So these are the things that are happening. Why every one of us have got a point of duty to ensure that the right persons get into position. We can't just stay there do nothing and pretend that everything is going to be all right all of a sudden there is serious call for concern and we all together must work at it to ensure that the right persons becomes leaders okay the right persons become leaders okay so if people democratic party is doing this could it be that you know they they are afraid of peter b could it be that what exactly are they afraid of why can't they you know why can't they really speak what exactly is happening? So this is part of what is going on and why Nigerians, everyone is watching with keen interest to see how things will play out. The days upon us are serious days that every one of us, you know, have got what it takes to ensure that um, Nigeria will get the best leadership. There are a lot of lies going on. How can they come out and be, you know, bringing bishops, bishops that only them know? Eh? Why can they be bringing out bishop that only them know? Because you know that you did not pick the people's choice. All of a sudden, they have become bishops. Okay, bishop that only, it's, it's terrible. It's really terrible. It's really terrible. These are some of the things going on. Okay, it is, it is what it is. And the truth of the matter is, every one of us must ensure we get our PVCs. That's the way we can make the difference. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye.